Hi everyone, my name's Lisa and I'm from Brimbank Libraries and this is... Brandon. My name's Flat and I got a piece of on. So today we're going to show you how to make a paper mache beehive. So we've made one earlier. Charlotte, do you want to bring it up to show everyone yeah. what it looks like? And your bee looks like this. Okay, so this is what we'll show you, we'll be showing you how to make. Okay, so we're going to show you how to do this in stages. So the first stage is to create the paste for your paper mache. So for that you'll need about a cup and a half of plain flour, some warm water, you'll need some newspapers cut into, newspaper pieces cut into strips about that long, you'll need some balloons and you'll need um, some utensils, a fork, a whisker and a brush and some scissors to cut your newspaper. Okay, so what we need to do first is make the paste. So we need to get all the lumps out of the flour. So we'll just do this first. Okay, and then we'll just pour the warm water in slowly. Pour a bit more water in. That should be enough. Uh, put a little bit more. So just going to make sure it turns into a smooth paste. Okay, have a go at stirring that. So we've just popped the balloon in a bowl just to keep it steady. Okay. So just get all the flour out of the corners. You can use glue for paper mache, but um, today I'll show you, show you how to make the flour mixture. Most people have flour and the water at home. So it can be quite messy, so um, it's a good idea to just put something on your table to cover it up. Okay. So once that's formed a paste, just like that, you can start sticking the newspaper on. Okay, so we've made our paste for our paper mache, which is there. So now we're going to start to stick our newspaper onto the balloon. So um, try and do it about three, three layers just so it's stable. And I found the easiest way to, to put the newspaper on the balloon is to actually brush some of the paste on the balloon first. Instead of putting the newspaper into the paste. It's less mess this way. And put some paste on the top as well. Okay. So I'll give you a go in a sec, Charlotte. So I found that this size newspaper is a good size to work with. I did make some longer sheets of paper and it was messier that way. So I think that, that size is, is a good size. Charlotte, do you want to take one in? Brandon? Go. Okay, so put some paste on the balloon. So this can take a little bit of time and then once you've finished coating your balloon in the newspaper you will need to let it dry. So it can take a couple of days to let it dry completely. So put the newspaper on the top and then we have to coat the top of it as well in the paste. So pop some paste on the top. Okay. Okay. So keep going. Okay, so do that all the way around. 
I did find an easier way to coat the balloon is to um, to tie a string around the the end of it and hang it up and that's also another good way to coat the balloon in the newspaper and then you can hang it up to to dry so I'll show you one that we made earlier that's dry so we'll just keep going with that one we're now ready to decorate our beehive what you'll need to decorate the beehive is some yellow and black paint some paint brushes some glue and you can make your own bees which Brandon and Charlotte did earlier and you'll use those to stick on your beehive so this is one we prepared earlier that's dry um, as I mentioned uh, another way to pop your paper mache on is by putting a string or a ribbon around the balloon and hanging it up and then you can leave it to dry by hanging it up just like that okay so Brandon did you want to help me yeah, we'll do it together because this is you got to be careful with scissors everyone to paint. So did you have a go at painting? Brandon, do you want to have a go? Okay, so we're going to paint the beehive. So once we've painted it in yellow, we've got our black paint, which we will use to create some black rings around the beehive. So this is the one that we made earlier. What you'll need to do is just put a hole on either end and um, you can slide a string through it so you can hang it up just like this. We can stick some more bees on it I think. So once the yellow paint's dry then you can put your black rings on. your paper mache beehive. Okay everyone I hope you've enjoyed watching our video and um, see you next time. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.